Morning, beautiful. What was that? Mom? Mom? Yes, sweetie? Are you hearing voices too? Oh, honey, that's just your soulmate. My soulmate? Yeah, you guys can talk to each other. Sweet. Hello? Hey. This is so weird. What's your name? I'm not going to tell you that. I barely know you. Can I at least know how old you are? Yeah, I'm 19. Cool, I'm 20. Damn, 20? So no sugar daddy? How tall are you? I'm 4'11". Wait, so you're a dwarf? That's rude. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you are? I would say that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. Can I tell you something? Well, you won't shut up anyway, so what is it? What if I told you I know exactly where you I are? I would say that that is extremely creepy. Well, come to the front door. What? Yes? Are you Giselle? Yeah, that's me. This is for you. Flowers? Who sent these? Who do you think sent them? Thank you. Did you really just send me flowers? Yes. Am I not sweet? Well, I mean it would have been sweet, but I never told you where I live. Just say thank you. They stink, by the way. Hello? Why aren't you talking to me? I don't want to talk to you, because you're being very creepy. How am I being creepy? Well, for starters, how did you know where I live? Maybe I know you already. Wait, what? Simon says stop putting lipstick on. Simon says? What? Hey, Mom. What's up, hun? Who is Simon, and why is he telling me what to do? Oh, no, it started. What do you mean, what started? It's a game. You have to do whatever Simon says. If you don't, something terrible will happen. But be careful. It'll try to trick you. Yeah, I understand. Simon says go to school. I guess I gotta go to school now. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Giselle. So what happens when you don't do what Simon says? Simon says hold up two fingers. We're safe. I'll see you later. Hey, where's Jessica? She's not in class today. The game tricked her. She's gone. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. Put up your hand. Giselle, no, it's a trick. Come with us. What do I do? I'll distract them. Run. Whoa, why are you running? I'm trying to get away. The Simon Says game tricked me. And now they're looking for me. I know a place you can hide. Follow me. Thank you. Okay, we're here. Thank you for bringing her to us. You set me up. How could you? It was for a reward. I really needed the money. You sold me out for money? That's enough. You're coming with us. We're almost there. I'm sorry, but where are you taking me? It's best not to ask any questions. Just keep quiet and follow us. Okay, we're here. Can you at least tell me where we are? We brought you to meet Simon. He requested to see you. Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh. I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes you are. 
What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry. Your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. She's at 2%. It's her or the bracelet. I choose her. Take it. Finally. Now let her go. All right, a deal's a deal. Uh, Mom? Mom, give me your hand. Not so fast. I'm not done with you, kid. I decided I want more power. What? Leave her alone. I'm taking her battery life. This is for being a little brat. Stop! Mom, go plug yourself in. Otherwise, your battery's gonna die, too. Say goodbye to your daughter. No! Uh, uh. Haley, grab the bracelet. No! Why, you little... Uh. Give me that back! No! My power! Oh, You did it. Mom, you're at 1%. Here, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Come here. Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks. Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia. You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date. We were together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey, babe, do you maybe want to hang out tonight? Oh, sorry, babe. I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what? Forget it. I don't care if it's boys' night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I... <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we we can explain. You should have knocked. Ugh! Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real... Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not gonna happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you. This food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink. Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind. I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa. You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. Olivia? What the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Bria, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a real- Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now! Yes. But one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. 
All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? <sighs> Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Mom, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Oh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? <laughs> what happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> Time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to... Just not turn ourselves off at night. We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep. Let's go party. Ah, you scared me. Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute, are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? I have a code. AI123456999999. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. 
Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back. Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm going to need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet. All right, everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hands? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Daddy, what is that? That's your likeness score. From now on, every time someone likes you, your score will go up. And when you reach 100%, you get to meet your soulmate. Wow. Snow, meet my new wife. Hi. Oh, hello. Daddy, I thought you said when people like me, my score will go up, not down. I don't think she likes me. Of course I do. There just must be a glitch. Oh, the king's passing was so unexpected. Princess, I brought you a rose for your loss. Thank you. It's lovely. Where is my rose? It was a loss for me as well. He was my husband. I'm so sorry. I was just thinking of the princess, your majesty. Snow? Yes? I just noticed your percentage has been going up a lot lately. And father said that when I reach 100%, I'll be able to meet my soulmate. Hmm, no. That won't happen. Why? Because, dear, it's not meant to be for you. In fact, follow me. Let me show you something. Here, you need to see this. A book? It's a magic book. Now open it and see why you can't meet your soulmate. Read the words, magic book in my hand. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? The queen is the most liked. Her score is 80%. You see, dear, as queen I have a reputation to uphold. It was very hard for me to get to 80%, and I can't have you surpass me. But why can't we both reach 100%? No, it's either me or no one. From now on, you will no longer be allowed to leave this castle. But I promised the village kids that I would bring them toys today. So your likeness score can go up? I don't think so. I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you. And one for you. Thank you, princess. Wow, that was very kind of you, princess. Are those your guards? There she is. Get her. You have left the castle without permission, princess. I'm sorry. The queen orders you back now. Uh, don't hold her like that. Wait. My queen, we have found her. You directly disobeyed me. I'm sorry, I... Silence. Look at your score. I didn't mean for that to happen. Your percentage is higher than mine. Shall I still take her into the woods, my queen? Yes, and make sure she doesn't return. No. I'll make it quick. No, please. Quiet. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Think about my father. What would he want you to do? The king would be so disappointed in me. I can't kill you, princess. You must leave here and never come back. But... Run, now! <laughs> Hey, Shu, get out of here. Why are you out in these woods alone? It's a long story, but my blouse, it's stuck in the vines. Don't worry, my dear. I will set you free. Come with me. It's not safe here. Son! Dad, where were... 
You. I just found this girl. Dad, this is the princess. Are you okay? Yes, but the queen, she's trying to have me killed. Why? I can't believe this is all because she's jealous of you. You can stay here with us as long as you need, princess. Our cabin is safe. Thank you so much. Of course. Here's an extra pillow in case you need it tonight. Thank you. I don't think I caught your name. Right. How rude of me. My name is Zachary, princess. Well, I appreciate your help, Zachary. <laughs> Good morning, my dear. My son and I are off to go hunting. We'll be gone for a few hours. While we're gone, do not open that door to anyone. I promise, I won't. How did you get in here? Go. Be free. I guess the likeness score works on animals, too. Now that I'm at 100%, I get to meet my soulmate. That must be him. Now that I reached 100%, that has to be my soulmate. Who are you? Oh, hello, my dear. I hope I didn't scare you. Actually, I'm not supposed to have strangers- But wait! I'm here to give you your soulmate. In that case, come inside. I brought this for you. An apple? Yes, you must be hungry. I don't like apples. But dear, I sense you're very lonely ever since your parents passed away. How do you know that? Because I'm magic. Isn't that how you feel? Yes, I... I've been so lonely. This is why I'm here, to help you, dear. One bite of this apple will make your soulmate appear. Do you promise? Cross my heart. You'll never be lonely again. Isn't it just... Delicious. <laughs> You're so gullible. <laughs> Princess, we're home. No. This is my fault, Dad. Son. It is. I should have never left her alone. You'll be a queen in heaven. Goodbye, Snow. Soulmate found. Zachary? Princess, you're... You're alive. True love's kiss. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe what the queen did. This has gone too far, my dear. You must take back your kingdom. You're right. Who is the most liked royal in all the land? Princess Snow is the most liked. That's impossible. She's dead. Think again. Stepmother, you're under arrest. Guards, take her away. Get off of me! I'll be taking this. No! That belongs to me! That crown belongs to Snow now, and I gotta say, it really suits her. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours public. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm-hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we gonna do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for-sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or or I'm going to scream. 
Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... <gasps> uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. <sighs> I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> we're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble! Yes, Todd, get them! <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> see how much Mommy and Daddy love me, or see how much are in their bank account? I already know Mommy and Daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. Wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm going to get a phone for my birthday? Oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connors' baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connors' baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me if you have any information we urge you to call this number that can't be me i'm just being delusional we should give her back now the reward is one million dollars but how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place Shh. let's talk about it over here the number on the tv they said to call it if if you have any information we urge you to call this number i need a phone i'll have to take mom and dad's no i just gotta call this number no, I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes, and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick, and I am leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? 
your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological data. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest. And we'll be here when you wake up. I get to pick whether I'm going to have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby, what did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here. You have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive, and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school, and- now I'm starving, and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because- Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you wanna play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy. Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <sighs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm gonna talk to Samantha. Honey? What? 
I got in contact with your father. No, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did, and he has kindly offered to let you live with him. No, Mom, I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch your show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I... Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's that? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed you take Samantha and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. What a pity. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dogs. <laughs> Your Majesty, please. Help my family. You only had six words left, and you wasted them on me. How pathetic. Your Majesty, you have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Gu Guards! A witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately? I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry. I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe, and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. Infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. Trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words. As many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. The crown? Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. 
Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You are so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden expects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. <laughs> Oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! <laughs> what have I done? A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm going to make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over uh, here. Uh, hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You're gonna regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash, you're going to run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could have tracked us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so... What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. 
I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack? You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the... This thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey! That's enough! Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trying darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not gonna turn you in, I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. All right, everyone, choose carefully between the blue or the red pill. Mine has a third option. It says green. That's so strange. I'm going to choose it. It could be something amazing. Brianna, look, I can fly. Whoa! What special ability did you get? I don't know. Nothing's happened yet. I probably don't even have ability. I knew I shouldn't have chose that green one. Don't look now. Your crush Kevin is coming this way. Hi, Kevin. Kevin! Oh, no. He's not breathing. Emily, what is going on? Emily! What happened here? I'll go get the nurse. Don't you understand, Brittany? They're gone. Brittany! What is going on? Wait a minute. It's me. I did this. Every time I said their name, they, they stopped breathing. What happened here? I, I, I don't know. Everybody just all of a sudden collapsed. Quickly, come with me. We need to figure out what's going on. Hello, I'm Officer Brad. Hello, Officer. I like to make this a comfortable environment. Don't worry, you can address me by my name. No. Don't be disrespectful. Say my name. It's rude not to do what a police officer says. Say it. Brad? I can't believe what happened to Officer Brad. He dropped, just like the others. I know, it's crazy. I found something strange on the security footage. Will you come have a look at it with me? Yeah, of course. There must be some kind of pattern. It looks like everybody dropped right after you said their name. Have you shown anybody else's footage? No, I just discovered it. You deleted everything! That's all I need. Goodbye, Susan. The teacher! She fell to the floor! I know! I don't know what happened! She's not breathing. You did something. You said goodbye and then she dropped. How did you know she would do that? 
You talk too much, Gary. Attention everyone. In order to keep all of our students safe, school will be canceled until this situation is resolved. Thank you for your patience. Yay, no school! I hope this case never gets resolved. It's so weird what happened. They just stopped breathing for literally no reason. Look, it's her. She was there for the whole thing. She saw everything that happened. Yeah, and it was absolutely traumatizing. I'll need at least a week to recover. There's no way. You're definitely involved in this somehow. Yeah, she's right. How come you're the only one who's safe? You guys really need to know when to stop talking. Cynthia. No, no, please, I'm sorry. Jennifer. What? I only have one day left? Look who's 18 now. How much time did you get? One day. Here, I got 99 years. I'll give you some of my time. Thanks, but it doesn't really matter. My time's gonna run out sooner or later anyways. Hey, let's go to that coffee shop you love so much. It will cheer you up for sure. Good idea. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna use the bathroom. Why do you look so sad? Oh, you know, it's nothing. It's just that my time left is only one week, so... I wish I only had a week left. I got infinite time. I've already lived hundreds of years. Infinite time? That's not even possible. Where did she go? What did I miss? A strange lady just approached me telling me she has infinite time and that she wishes she only had a week left. Infinite time is impossible. No way. She gave me her infinite time. I I have to find her. Wait. Where did she go? She couldn't have gone that far. Brianna, don't you understand? She gave you all her time, meaning she's gone for good. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to give you at least a couple hundred years, you know, so I'm not so lonely, living for all eternity. Error. Error. It won't let me. Either I give you my infinite years or nothing. I'm going to be all alone. <laughs> Why are you crying? Are you okay? My time left is only two days. It's going to be okay. You're not going anywhere. No, you don't understand. It's over for me. I've already been lent so much time. What are you doing? Goodbye. My best friend controls my bank account or my hand. Yeah, I don't need her making me go broke. She's out of town, so I wonder how this is going to work. Incoming call. Oh, it's her. Hey. Girl, I can see in here everything you do you can yeah this is so weird don't worry i won't make you do anything bad you may now begin your test what are you doing i swear i'm not trying to do this maya why would you do something like that revenge for what you need to see this what is this a picture of you and Maya's boyfriend, and it looks like you're holding hands. What? Yeah, it's been sent out to the whole school. Maya, I swear, this isn't what it looks like. I can't believe her. I'm gonna make her week a living hell. Maya, listen, I wasn't cheating with your boyfriend. I was just... Mm. I don't want to hear her excuses. I saw the photo. They were clearly holding hands. Are you okay? Mm. No, my best friend is controlling my hand today, and she's super mad at me. Dang, it sucks to be you. <laughs> yeah, can't say I disagree. Maya, if you would just let me explain... Excuse me, you need to pay attention. I take Jim very seriously. Of course, uh, so do I, coach. Are you mocking me, Miss Missouri? No, sir. <sighs> oh, you think you're funny, huh? Go run five laps. No, but I... Uh-uh-uh, don't want to hear it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, man... Oh my gosh, I'm so thirsty. Here, you can have my water. Oh, thank you. Thanks again for the water. No problem. <gasps> what the? That's what you get for being a bad friend. Maya, all week you've been causing me trouble, and any time I try and explain what happened with your boyfriend, you... Mm. You do that. I don't care what you have to say anymore. I can't trust you. Oh, and I see her crush is coming near. Oh no, Nate, Maya, please, I'm begging you, don't- Hey, uh, how are you doing? Good. Great, actually. Sweet. Well, you know, prom's coming up, right? Yeah? I was wondering if you- <laughs> Nate? She just knocked out Nate. No, no, I would never. My friend is controlling my hand. Principal's office now. 
Listen, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Great, they put handcuffs on her. Now I can't control her hand. What do you mean she's your sign language instructor? Wait, so that's why she was touching your hand? Why didn't you call me sooner? She's about to get arrested. Take her downtown. No, please wait. Stop. I was controlling her officers. She's innocent. Did you finish your chores, darling? Yes. So did I. You know what that means. Twenty dollars. All right. Your first allowance. We want to teach you to work for your money. Mom? Dad? We wanted to take Bunny to the park for a bit. Sure. Just be careful. We will. Peekaboo. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of fire trucks. I just got ten million in my bank account. I was just gonna say. Yeah, so did I. We need to go home. Something's wrong. No. What happened? What does it look like? Your house burnt down. But what about our parents? Your parents didn't make it. I'm sorry. Mama. Someone's gonna take you in. Who? A distant relative. Your aunt, Octavia. Hello, children. What a pleasure it is to meet you. Uh, hi? Such a shame what happened. I'm just so glad your money is safe. I mean, you're safe. <laughs> ah. Please, put those down. Chill, I'm not gonna use this on you. Wait! Uh, what are you doing? Look, I had to. Just, here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah? He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What is it safe for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Time to turn off. Another day is over. Time to turn off. I am all charged and ready for the day. Do you ever wonder what would happen if we were to just not turn ourselves off at night? We must turn ourselves off at night. Then we will automatically be turned back on. Do you need your hard drive checked? No, my hard drive is just fine. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off tonight. The robots are all asleep! Let's go party! Ah! You scared me! Why are you so loud? What AI model are you? Are you asking me if I'm a robot? I'm a human. Human? Wait a minute, are you asking me if I'm a robot because you're a robot? Why are humans so loud? I thought all robots were supposed to be turned off at night. We are, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'd be careful if I were you. That kind of thinking will get you shut down for good. Why are humans and AI separated? It's for peace. You see, us humans created you guys, but we don't get along very well. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to be charging right now. Will you lend me your charger? Yeah, humans don't have chargers. Then how will you recharge? We sleep. Do you have a name? What do they call you? 
I have a code. A I one two three four five six nine 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 nine. I'll call you Cindy. I'm Jake. Jake, I like that code. Uh oh. Goodbye. I am alive. I thought I was gone for good. Time to start the day. Hi, friend. Do you know what a human is? No. What is human? They are like us, but are loud and talk too much. I don't know. Never mind. Another day is done. Time to turn off. I am not turning myself off. I want to see Jake. Cindy, you're back. Greetings, Jake. Was it you that plugged me back in last night? No, it wasn't me. When I saw you shut down, I ran to find help, but when I came back, you were gone. That's strange. How did I get back? I plugged you back in. I've never seen an AI with your kind of thinking before. I'm gonna need you to come with me. No, thank you. I want to see Jake. You don't have a choice. No, you're not taking Cindy. I'm so cold. Here, let me check your temperature. So, what is it? Uh, 100 degrees, just like your father and I. That's perfect, because today we're getting put in our demon categories based on our body temperature. Wait, don't go yet. All right, everyone, fall in line. It's time to check your temperatures. Those with temperatures under 1,000 degrees are considered weak. Those over 1,000 are considered strong. Next in line, please. 33.6. You're not a demon. If I'm not a demon, then what am I? If you really are a demon, then you can burn this piece of paper. Even the weakest of demons can do it. I can't do it. What is she? I know what you are. A temperature of 33 degrees can only mean one thing. You're a human. That's not possible. I've been a demon my whole life. Both my parents are demons. Why are my hands freezing? What's in my hands? Is that snow? Snow? Even worse than I thought. You're an angel. Everyone, set her on fire. No, no, no. Mom, I'm so cold. It's freezing in here. Quick, give me the thermometer. Just as I thought. It's at zero. Why is my hair turning white? Mom, I'm scared. Your transformation is almost complete. I have something to tell you. Both your dad and I are demons. But your biological father is an angel. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny, I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news. Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor. He has amnesia. Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow. <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi. 
Kid? <laughs> my name's Kitty, silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning. How did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo. <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... <laughs> Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy. Jason. I knew you'd come back. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real fa- I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. <gasps> what just happened? What about this one? <gasps> when did I get here? Chill, we've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house. You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just? Bro, no way, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have zero manners. No, no, it was the chair. It was the chair. I promise you it was the chair. No way, that wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here. And that is why- Miss, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. <gasps> Babe! I'm here to break up with you. Also, I've been cheating on you throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually. Oh, you are not getting away with this. Hey. Babe! I'm, I'm breaking up with you, and I've been cheating on you throughout this entire relationship. How could you do that? How could you cheat on me? Oh, just like how you cheated on me this whole relationship? I, uh, how did you know this? I'm an intellectual. Steve, you will never believe what I can do. I can go back and forth in time. Have you lost your mind? No, I'll show you. I want to take my best friend forward in time. Bessie, did it work? Did what work? Daniel. Steve, look, I don't want to explain this whole thing again, but I can go back and forth into time. Have you lost uh, your... Uh, uh, hold my hand. I want to try something. Huh, how did I get here? Shh, we're in class. You really can time travel. I told you. Hey, I need you to help me with something. I need you to help me with something. 
What? Do you need to rewrite a test or something? No, it's way more serious than that. I'll tell you after class. Okay. Ten years ago, my family was in a car accident driving my sister to school. I was homesick that day. None of them survived. I need to go back and warn them not to get in that car. I don't know. Changing the past that drastically has got to have some kind of consequences. No, you don't understand. The last thing I said to them was I hate them and I wish they were never my family. I can't live with this guilt. I have to fix this. Okay. I'll help you. Thank you. Take my hand. What is taking her so long? It worked. I convinced them all to stay home today. That's great. Let's go back. Wait, I forgot my phone. What's going on? Wait, come back. No, I left her in the past. <gasps> Pesky, there you are. I was so worried. Who are you? I'm finally 18. What gift do I get? A mystery box? Oof. Well, might as well open it. No, don't. Why? I heard a story of one person who had a mystery box and they stopped breathing right as they opened it. I should wait to open it then. Good idea. It could be very dangerous. What did you get for your gift? I got this mystery box. Open it. I heard of someone who got a mystery box and got a million dollars. Don't open it. I heard someone got gifted a mystery box and lost a finger. Open it. Don't. Open it. No. I'm scared. I'm not gonna open it. Hey, I want to trade my gift with you for that mystery box. What's your gift? A mansion. It's way better than a box. So give me the box. Trade it now. No, we can't trade gifts. It's illegal. I have to know what's in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's empty. Have you opened your box yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside. Open it. I need that box. Give it. Just open it. I'll give you my mansion. Back. Stay back, you fiends. Open it. No, I don't think there's any need to open it. All right, class, it's time for the test. We'll be starting right now. Oh, shoot, I forgot my pen. Oh, my God. What is this box? <gasps> you lied to me. You did open the box. Shh, my crush is coming. Ooh. Hey, box, I could really use some perfume. Gosh. Perfect. This box could be very beneficial to me. To us. No. Hey, Box, I could really use a million dollars right now. 